It's time for the Family Feud. Introducing the York family, Bob, Jerry, Bob, Betty, and John. Ready for action. And the Santana family, Katina, George, Stravula, Yorgia, and Christina. On your marks, let's start the Family Feud. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. Who made the salad? <laughs> Why, that's lovely. I just got a little thing from the newsroom here. It's a due to a shortage of devoted followers. The production of great leaders has been discontinued. Film at 11. Here's our winning family, New York. How are you, Bob? Okay, Richard. Well, I tell you, the York family have been on the air longer than Holmes and Yo-Yo. They have done so well, but they've got $3,832. All right. Pretty good. Just remind everybody who you've got here with you, Bob. I'll try, Richard. This is my daughter, Jerry. Jerry. Barry. This is Bob Barry, her husband. Jerry Barry and Bob Barry. Betty Barry, his sister-in-law. Uh-huh. And, and Barry. John Barry, oh, his John. brother. Okay. No and blackberry I'm, or I'm strawberry? No, but uh, ain't that the berries? Sure, it certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, Richard, he gets bigger laughs. Could I say hello to my lovely wife at home? Well, haven't you seen her? I haven't had a... No, I haven't seen her for what's a week. Your, what's your name? Gloria. Could I say, say hi, hi to, to her? Gloria. Where is she? Mom. Oh. <laughs> hi, Gloria. <laughs> Love you, doll. How long have you been married to? 33 years. Oh. You don't believe it, huh? Dad not to make him a fool out of himself. Well, he is not. <laughs> Your language, Kevin. Nature did that before we got here. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. Oh, we're delighted to have you here. <laughs> Two. Who's going to play Fast Money if you get up? I think John and Betty are going to Wanna this give time. give it a whirl? Yeah. We yeah. tried everybody else. It's yes, we have. <laughs> How you doing, Bob? <laughs> Here's a lady, boy. She got spirit. She's a marvelous lady. How you doing? Just great, but this time we're getting the big. I want to hear... The word that made them the winning family uh, yesterday was, was Chad Everett. Is that right? Yes. Let me Chad hear. Everett. Chatty Boo. <laughs> That's what we call my son, Chatty Boo. No more. Please. Move on. John, how you doing? I'm fine, Richard. The others, keep your eye on them. Here's the family going to challenge. It's called the Santana family. Hello, darling. Oh. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Well, Jerry, it looks as though we'll be drifting apart. <laughs> That's the loveliest one. Was that Katina? Yes. It must be Greek. It is. It is. Oh, am I quick? <laughs> well, I went dancing once with Anthony Quinn. Will you introduce your family, yes, please? To... This is my husband, George. My goodness. My sister, Stavrula. Oh, yeah. My mm. sister, Georgia. And my cousin, Christina. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love that song, Georgia, Georgia. <laughs> No peace, I find. That's where our uh, president's from, isn't he? Well, I guess so. Sure, Georgia. She won't. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. Room. How long have you been married to this handsome devil? Two years. Two years? Mm -hmm. well, you're a delight. You have family? We have a son, six months old. And what's his name? Michael. Hey, Michael. Oh, Michael Demetrius. Well, say hello He's... to him. Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> A little on the juice, I think. How are you, George? Just fine, Richard. That was a very amorous kiss, and I didn't know that she was involved with you. I, uh, I uh, hope believe that... me, it's every time you come up on the show, she just wants to grab that TV and... Uh... Well, but she showed, showed excellent taste by choosing you as a husband. Thank you. Very nice. What do you do for a living? I work for the Hungry Tiger. I'm a waiter. Oh, yeah? Yes. I used to be a waiter. That's oh, a good yeah. job. It sure, is. I like that. Stavrula. No, no. Stavrula. Come here. So <laughs> rude. Do you know? Can you understand why they have wars in Greece? I can't understand. It's the most warm family. Those generals obviously didn't meet the right people. Is that? <clears throat> Thank you, Doc. <laughs> 
Is Dr. Art Ulean around? I'm feeling good. <laughs> you're very... Can I call you Georgia? It would be hard for me to say it. Say it you. You're Georgia. Oh, well, that's easy. <clears throat> I love you. <laughs> we must get on with the game. Come on. Well, I tell you honestly, we've been on the air, I think, a year and a half. It's right. the first time on those introductions I've ever gotten aroused. <laughs> now, we, uh, no, I'm leveling with you. That's the most passionate kissing. We, I usually kiss for luck, but oh, I got involved a couple of times there. <laughs> we surveyed 100 people. Top five answers are on the board. Your job is to try and find the most popular answer. Here's the question. Name a famous female criminal. Bob. Bonnie. Oh, Bonnie? Bonnie. Bonnie. I don't Any know her other? last name. You don't know her last name. No. You mean the girl From who... Bonnie and Clyde. Ah, okay. I just wanted you to identify her. I don't know what her last name uh, was no, either. No, let's take a look. Uh, Paige and Bonnie! Yeah. Bonnie Parker. We learned together. My love, two answers even more popular. A famous female criminal. Linda Kasabian? Linda Kasabian. Let's take a look. <laughs> Excuse me. Linda Kasabian. Uh, nope. Half, half, nope. Half, the jury's half, still half, out there. Half, what are you going to do? Half, Play a pass, pass it, Bob. Pass, pass it. Don't take it. Don't pass it. Pass it. Pass it. Pass it. Yes. I'm going to pass, Richard. All right. I'll be in the Greek hey. islands if you need me. <laughs> George, oh, <God. laughs> famous female criminal, please. Linda Lovelace. <laughs> 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 In the film, Still Waters Run Deep. <laughs> Linda Lovelace! Uh, well, I, I'm amazed she's not there. That's your first strike. Two more strikes, you lose control of the question, and uh, they'll get a chance to steal. They're looking for a penny over there. The light's better. <laughs> My love, famous female criminal. Patty Hearst. Patty Hearst? Oh. I always thought... I've heard more of, as a victim. I know they charged her, but I, we'll take a look, shall we? Okay. I hope she's not there. I mean, I don't want you to get a strike, but I always <laughs> thought she got a rough deal. Patty Hearst! <laughs> yeah, good, good, good. I know if I were kidnapped, I'd do anything they wanted me to do, really. Even go on the gong show. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. No, I've thought that over. I'd prefer death. <laughs> Jorgia. Jorgia. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> You're not so bad yourself. A famous female criminal. Leslie Van Houten. Leslie Van Houten. Got a hand up around here, right? <laughs> Leslie Van Houten. Uh, not there. Second strike. Oh. Pretty hair, Christina. Famous female criminal. Three seconds. Uh, right now, you can get all the money, Bob. Talk it over. Ma, Ma Parker. Ma Parker. Lizzie, Lizzie Borden. Liz Dalton. Lizzie Borden. Ma Dalton. What do you say, sir? Lizzie Borden. Lizzie Borden. Took an axe. Took an axe and chopped her mother. 40 wax or something like that. Did she? Right. Yeah. Did she do that? Yeah. yeah. 40 wax? 40 right? wax? Right. Her, mother? her father got 41. Right. Really? Yeah. yeah. I counted them. Yeah, that's right. And then... I counted them. Favorite father. The lunatics 41. have taken over the asylum, so... <laughs> Lizzie Borden's there. You get $42. If it's not there, we give the money to the Santana. Lizzie Borden! All right. Let's see who number one is. Number one? Bob Barker, you had it. Number five. Oh, my goodness. All right, $42. Nothing but love over there at the moment. We have a commercial. <laughs> Who's that last? Two dollars. Santana's nothing. George. Need you. We surveyed 100 people. Top five answers are on the board to this question. Name something that very young children have trouble learning to do. George. Walk. Walk. Show us walk. All right, one answer even more popular than walk, darling. Talk. Talk. Jerry says talk. Is it there? 
Not there. You control it. What are you going to do? Play! 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 You better. They'll yes. kill you. Go on back there. Boy, oh, I'd listen to them. Something that very young children have trouble learning to do, dog. Getting potty trained. <laughs> I knew it would all come tumbling down eventually. The old potty train. Five people said it. Yes, John. What do you think that young children, very young children, have trouble learning to do? Um. Three seconds. Teeth. Pardon? Um. What did you say? Teething. Teething. All right. Let's see. Teething. Is it there? Uh, Not there. That's your first strike. Christina? Bathing. Bathing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they keep falling down, right? Bathing! Uh, oh, not there. That's your second strike. You ladies wanted to play. George wasn't sure. Now you got two strikes on you. Something that very young children have trouble learning to do, darling. Singing. So, yeah. That's... <laughs> Some of them don't cut albums till they're about two, you know. <laughs> Singing! Uh, right now, you can get the money, Bob. Ricky, There's $15. Ricky, Ricky from the glass. Okay, Ricky, from the glass. Sleeping. Give it to uh, me from the glass. Eating from, eating with, from a spoon. Eating eating with, with a spoon. Eating with a spoon. Drinking. Drinking. Eating with a spoon. Eating with a spoon. I need, with need an answer. Uh, Eat with a spoon. Uh, I'll stick it in your hand. <laughs> Eat with a come spoon. On, if it's there, you on, get $15. If it's not there, ladies, you got it. Eating with a spoon. Number three. three. Number five. five. Listen, Gene Wood has trouble tying his shoes now, and he's 42. We'll be back right after this. tell you now, dollar values are doubled. This could produce a winning family. I'm prepared to bet against that the way it's going, but tell you that, 100 people surveyed. Top six answers are on the board to this question. Name a country that produced many famous writers. Bob. England. England. Is it that, England? <laughs> Number one answer. All right, we'll pass it. Okay, go on back there. I'll pass to you, my love. Country that produced many famous writers. Italy. Italy. Show us Italy, please. Yeah! $140 there. Christina. Greece. Greece, yeah. A lot of marvelous writers. Greece. Uh... Well, they're not that hot. Uh, no, I thought it would have been there. It just didn't make our top six answers. And uh, that's your first strike. My love, a country that produced many famous writers. U.S. of A? U.S. of A. They have indeed. Let's see if they made the survey of our 100 people. America! $184. George. Poland. the man that gave us Linda Lovelace. <laughs> oh, all right, we'll take a look. <laughs> Being a waiter. Hey. What did you say? Being a waiter, you, you don't get to read too many books, you know? No, no. Well, I was hoping someone was reading them to you. Uh, <laughs> we are looking for Poland. Uh. Oh, that is amazing. That's your second strike. My dollar, one more strike, they'll get a chance to steal. There's $184 there, a country that produced many famous writers. Germany? Germany. All right. Let's take a look. If it's there, you're alive. If not, you're going to get a chance, York family. Germany! Okay, now both families now, you see up there, we've got $188. You both have enough money. This will decide it. And I've got to tell you, it surprised me. Because the first time, what did you get? $42, then $15. I figured we were going to do a two-parter here. But my love, say your name for me. Yorgia. Yorgia. Okay. Um... No, it's Carmen's gear. <laughs> mm. Little car joke. 
USSR. Okay. <laughs> Russia. Yeah. Many famous. Yeah. Name one. Dostoevsky. Name two. Um, Dostoevsky I can't... part two, you say? Yeah, yeah. Not, not a big laugh, but it'll help. Shows Russia! Right now, you can do it for your family. You'll be the winning family. You'll play for all the money, my darling, or you'll give the York family a chance to steal. A lot of pressure, so let her relax. A country that produced many famous writers. Denmark. Pardon? Denmark. Denmark. Oh, come on. This is a game. Don't look like that. Did she say Denmark? <clears throat> Denmark, there, you're the new winning family. If not, the Yorks get a chance again. Denmark! Why are you talking about it? It's got to be France. only one. France. Only one. Got to be France. France. That's it. French, French Renaissance. France. 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 What do you say? France. We'll say France. 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 Why hear you yelling out Canada? Canada. France. 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 I mean, most of our modern writing, but marvelous. We're going to take a look. If France is there, once again, you will have a chance to go up there and show that oh, magic yeah. stuff that you have it, called failure. <laughs> but if it's not there, we've got new champs. They're called the Santan. La Francais! Oh! Thank you. We had a good time here with you. We have nice prizes for all of you. Oh, and you really are sweet ladies. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Thank you. Who's going to play? Who's going first? You are? All right. Follow those ladies. Well, we're going to take a commercial and see if they can win $5,000. You going to do it? Yeah. But this time, right? We're this is your fifth to. time, I believe. That's my lucky now, I number. Want, okay, I want you to do it. Your husband, John's off stage, has earphones on, cannot hear anything. This is how we do it. I ask you five questions. You give me five answers in 15 seconds. You try and think of the most popular answer. You and John, how long have you been married? Ten and a half years. Well, with all of that love and magic, if you get 200 points, we're going to give you $5,000, all right? <laughs> 15 seconds, please. I want you to speak up now. Name something you adjust on a TV set. Channel. An invention. Light bulb. A kind of powder. Fluffy. An occasion to send flowers. Birthday. A cream soup. Chicken. All right. She I said yeah. fluffy. A kind of flower, she said fluffy. Okay, let's see how well you did with our survey, all right? Okay. So name something you adjust on a TV set. You said? Channel. Our survey said? Oh. Oh. Two people would have to say, yep, two people would have to say okay. channel. They did not. An invention we asked for. You said? The old light bulb, our survey said? Oh. Eight. A kind of powder. You said fluffy. That's my favorite kind. Yep. Went out with a girl once named Fluffy Powder. Our survey said oh, yeah. an occasion to send flowers. You said birthday. Our survey said yeah. 24. Then we wanted a cream soup. You said chicken. Our survey said oh. 22. Clear the board, please. Come on, I bet you he'll do it. Here's John. Come on, John. Come on, you're going to do it. I want you to do it now. I'm going to ask you the same questions that I asked Betty. You cannot duplicate her answers. If you do, you hear this. I'll say try again, and you'll give me another answer, all right? Please remind everyone the answers Betty gave us, and give me 20 seconds on the clock, please. Name something you adjust on a TV set. Color. An invention. Telephone. A kind of powder. Face powder. An occasion to send flowers. Anniversary. A cream soup. Uh, mushroom. Oh. 
Listen, we should have had you up here long ago. You play this well. Name something you had just on a TV set we asked. You said, the color our survey said, 33. <laughs> Number one answer, John, was the volume, but you got 87. We wanted an invention. You said, telephone our survey said, 33. <laughs> Telephone was the number one answer. You got 120. A kind of 